Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for uh, stopping by and watching the video. So, as the title may tell, getting ready to do a uh, twin turbo setup on my Mustang. It's a 2017 GT. Uh, we went with the uh, the OM3 kit, twin 61 ball bearing turbos. Uh, it took me a while to decide if I just wanted to stay base kit or phone it upgrade, but the price I got it for, I ended up just upgrading the turbos. Well, can't hurt anything doing that. But yeah, parts should be getting in here slowly. Uh, started coming in yesterday. We got the fuel harness. The uh, pumps arrived today. The hob switch. Uh, a couple other things. And then uh, hopefully this week the, uh, the actual kit will ship and the rest of the fuel system. So I got my own fuel pumps and my own harness. And then everything else will be whatever comes in the OM3 kit. So all the fittings, lines, regulator, uh, all that kind of stuff, it'll all be, it'll all be on three, you know. I don't know if you're like me, you've had a ton of questions about this kit, because there's not really much out there about it. So at least from what I've, from what I've gathered, there's, you know, hit and miss on, you know, certain things that you want to know, like me. Um, I'll ask a million questions. So anyway, so go over the uh the wiring harness today the uh the lethal lethal performance triple pump wiring harness is actually pretty cool i was going to build my own but for the price to build my own it'll probably come out either the same or a little more than this and just save some time so i picked this up uh the new updated kits for the triple pumps come with the connector which is really cool because now you can just splice it right into your fuel hat and then plug it right on in to the uh the harness so every time you go down there if you have to service your fuel pump or take out your fuel hat for any reason or anything you know just taking a connector off instead of cutting wires now i'll give you this uh pack here it comes with three three little connectors go to your battery got fusible links and uh, butt splices in them Splice them on, gives you all the heat shrink you need. They literally give you everything you need to install, except for it looks like looks like they don't give you self tappers, you know, to screw screw the relays down or the fuses. But you can't complain for hundred. I think it was one hundred eighty nine bucks, something like that. But anyway, you get uh, it's your wiring harness. So you get three twenty amp fuses. You can upgrade the fuses if you need them. I don't know if I need to upgrade it yet, but we'll find out. Uh, this goes to your uh, ignition key on, whatever, something like that. Trigger up the uh, trigger the fuel pumps to prime. I'm only gonna be running two full, two fuel pumps all the time, and then I'll wire one to a hob switch. So yeah, we'll be running three Walbro 450s. So should have plenty of fuel. Uh, and then you got uh, three relay, three relays, three grounds pretty straightforward uh nothing nothing hard to it actually it is actually pretty pretty simple how to wire these up surprise me this will be my first time installing anything like this be my first time doing a turbo install as well so we'll have some fun we'll uh learn together <laughs> so as stuff's coming in i'll uh, have more content to put up there uh so far all i have i have my rear seat delete so I kind of wanted to get that started, get everything taken out at least, you know, the carpets, rear seat, and then uh, get that somewhat installed so that way I can get the wire run because I'm going to have to take out the panels to uh, run the wire anyway, so I might as well do the seat delete while I'm at it. So anyway, stay tuned, follow, like, subscribe, make sure you uh, hit the post notifications because I'm going to try to put out as many videos on this as I can. Uh, again, we're going to be installing a uh, twin 61 ball bearing on um, three kit into a uh, 2017 S550. So should be fun. Uh, I'm excited to get everything uh, going on it. It'll be my first twin turbo car. And uh, these Coyotes are ridiculous. Very ridiculous with boost. So it's it's amazing how much horsepower the stock blocks can handle. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna test the limits with this kit. Uh, a lot of people have been making thousand plus stock block. Um, so we're gonna see what we can do with it. I do have oil pump gears coming, so there will be some uh, some content on that because I know if you're like me, even in like an NA car, 
I really wanted to do my old pump gears just because I wanted to put a two-step in. So definitely boosting now. I'm definitely going to go with oil pump gears. So, so yeah, uh, thanks again for watching.
so I got the uh, lethal harness ran so it runs right there for now I'll take care of that a bit later but it literally runs right along there I wrapped it in some uh, some some of the harness tape just like uh, they do from the factory so it kind of blends in then it runs back to there that'll be my setup right there the relays and then uh, I'll sand we can do it right right there i'll sand that hole down and uh it's already threaded so I'll get all the paint off of it and that'll be my ground and then uh follow the wire there goes around there and then comes out right to there and then that's where my fuel pump harness will go or fuel hat so yeah it looks good uh the seat delete came out really good as well I opted to remove all the seat belt so nothing will be back here save some weight uh, I'm already pretty big enough so yeah save all the weight we can <laughs> all right uh, I'll show you guys uh, the uh, on three system as soon as it comes in so stay tuned all right so here here's the finished product of the uh, CM components rear seat delete I just did on the Mustang sorry for the Sun yeah, fits that's pretty good can't complain for 125 bucks and uh, come back here and we'll look in the trunk yeah the car is dirty very dirty sits under a car cover most of the time can't even tell probably leave the carpet in I'm not sure yet but for the most part can't even tell that uh, there's anything back here so looks good I like it glad I'm glad it fit 